Greetings and salutations, and thank you for clicking on the video. This is just a fun little video to show you guys something I thought was pretty cool. It popped up on my news feed today. It's called Manoquari, and it is a shell environment for the GNOME 3 desktop that is based on GTK and HTML5. And that's what caught my eye, was the fact that this is actually running on HTML5 in places. And this is a very young project. There's not too much to it at this point. You just come to the main page, and then you can download a big tarball of it, or you can check out the project over on GitHub. We also have here some screenshots of what it is ideally supposed to look like. So they're talking about having a dock here. This is actually Plank. You would have to install a program called Plank to get that functionality. And it's really nifty little, clean little desktop not much to it at all. So uh, I figured out that you can connect a PPA to Ubuntu 16.04. If you're already running the GNOME desktop or the Unity desktop, this will work. Either one, you can just add it on if you want to play around with it. So I went ahead and did that. So all you do is that you would hook up this PPA and I'll have the code in the uh, description to this video so you can get that as well and then come down here and then you can select which desktop environment you want to run so I have it already set to run the Manaquery desktop so let's go ahead and sign in what password did I use on this machine I don't know let's try that one and see what happens well it worked so this is what it looks like when it comes up pretty simple you have a panel across the top here we'll start over here on the upper left hand corner you click on this little icon and now you have a very aggressive looking little menu with all kinds of stuff that you can choose from and you can also just start typing so if I start typing terminal then it shows up there's a terminal we can open something and we'll come over here we'll find something else to open here uh, so let us look and see what we've got to open well I don't know what should we open we will go in here to here and we'll open the calendar so we have the calendar running and now we have little icons up here that we can see what's actually running and if I click on it it will minimize and maximize so that's pretty cool to switch between applications just use alternate tab that will let you switch back and forth no fancy display on the screen while it's doing that and then let's go ahead and close these up so they're not in the way I mean, actually I can switch to another desktop if I click on that little icon there so we'll go to desktop 2 it'll be nice and clear now this is a little confusing because this is a hot corner and this opens this menu here where we have system settings there is a lovely clock down here and you'll notice that the clock is in 24 hour time even though I have this virtual machine set up to read time in you know 24 uh, you know a.m. p.m. format duh what was I gonna say there so if I open this up we we'll take a look you see it's set up for a.m. p.m. but it's ignoring it okay so a little bit of work needs to get done here we have some interesting controls See, that gets a little confusing because I'm trying to get the hot corner but yet I'm not getting a hot corner now so maybe it's not gonna work for me well okay well there it goes now it works uh, so we have these bookmarks up here which take you to at this point um, stuff that is related to the desktop environment then we have the controls for the music player a weather area you get the weather so just type in your zip code I guess or whatever it is and then we have settings down here and this pretty much just goes to the regular gnome desktop settings that we all love and adore so if I click on keyboard here we get this guy right here and then we can set a shortcut which is kind of interesting because there are some shortcuts that are set that it does ignore so for instance alternate control and T well it doesn't do a thing okay the phone rang and I had to pause the video but don't worry about it there wasn't anybody that you know bad news or nothing like that so anyway we're back to where we were that's pretty much all I had to say about this anyway it was just kind of give you a quick look to it at it to it on it this is it this is what the desktop looks like and I think it's just a really groovy little idea somebody is working on to make a lighter weight shell for GNOME unfortunately it's not really that 
super lightweight. So let's go ahead and open up a terminal here real quick and I'll show you what it's taking up on the system. And we'll just run HTOP here. And as you can see, this is uh, taking up about 800, eh, about 800 megabytes. So 840 megabytes to be precise. When I first booted it up, it was about 775. That's a lot, but as GNOME goes, that's actually pretty lightweight because when you boot the full GNOME 3 environment, it usually takes up right at a gigabyte of memory. And a lot of that is just stuff that the, the GNOME desktop reads into memory so it can have quick access to. So it's caching, basically, but it's still not what you would consider lightweight. <laughs> And do keep in mind, I have opened up a couple of applications, so have a little bit of extra in the cache there, but that's pretty much it. So if you like to tinker and you want to play around, why don't you do this, get out of this properly? Yes, I will. Thank you. Uh, if you like to tinker and you'd like to play around with this sort of thing, then uh, you can check this out. I will put the uh, code for attaching the PPA to Ubuntu 16.04 into the description for this video. I do not recommend that anybody do this on a machine that they have to use on a daily basis. This is definitely not ready for daily use or prime time, but if you already have an Ubuntu virtual machine, you could make a cloned copy like I did and just load it up and take a look around. So I'll be checking in on this project down the road and see how they do. Kind of cool, man. It's just a, it's a different way of doing a desktop. Kind of reminds me a, a whole lot of like Budgie, but I do like this menu over here. It mean, needs a little bit more work, but we're getting there. It's kind of a cool idea. Very lightweight, very easy to use. So anyway, thank you for watching. Do check out Easy Linux on the web. Check out Easy Linux on Facebook and also check out freedompenguin.com for lots of really cool stories about Linux. And we'll do it again soon.